Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm going to pull colors out that I like. And I'm going to do something that I consider nearly impossible. But, um, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to, wait, where's the chalk? I am going to attempt to put a sky up at the top. And <laughs> something in the middle and something at the bottom. And if it works out that I want to put a tree on it tomorrow, that's great. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to give myself permission to uh, see how far I can make paint spread and grab some colors that I like from everywhere. I have a few things that aren't... a few things I'm going to have to mix more of shortly. Now I'm going to try and put all my colors in the center of the canvas for whatever reason right now. This is my my mountain layer. And I'm going to keep grabbing colors I like and hoping that I can get most of them without flow at all issues. And I'm sorry I'm not telling you the colors. That's a Prussian blue. The other one was a dioxidine purple. I say go to your closet if you like, uh, if you want to pick colors and uh, just go for it. I'm going to try and make some of these similar to, I don't know what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'll figure it out. I'm going to try and make similar quantities of puddles. And I've got to do it all the way down or it's not going to work well. And I kind of wouldn't mind a water level, but I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. This could be just crazy. But if nothing else, it'll be a first stage and we'll, we'll learn some stuff. I want that green that stopped working. I've got a similar green. That might be okay. This is going to be weird. This is going to be a challenge, for sure, for sure. And while we're, while we're in there, we might as well just add whatever we like. I've got to keep going down the canvas, though. And of course, some of it's going to run a little faster, because I'm not keeping within my parameters. But you never know. Okay, so let's go to the bottom and figure more greens. Doesn't have to be exact. No idea how this is going to work. I'm staying away from the edge for now. I can always move things out with my spatula. I want some Anita's metallic because it's very gray. Still trying to find my all my greens. I really want this green to come out. I've got a turquoise, but it's way too bright. Let me just unscrew this for right now. Oh, and it's lumpy. Hello. That might be what's in the way, huh? I bet I bet without those things in there, it'll flow a lot easier. You get to the bottom of something that you didn't used to use for six months or eight months, you're gonna wind up having some weird stuff in there. Oh, I found a color I want in the sky. I don't want any little dry filaments though. I do kind of want some uh, magenta in that sky. And I have some. I have a couple of colors. I might want some more of this. That is an enamel. So, are my colors all similar in quantity? <laughs> sort of, kinda. No, maybe not exactly. There's another one of those bottles with stuff in it. Okay, well that one needs to be cleaned out. Let me find... Let me take a chance. I'm never very good at using the super brights, but I think in this case we gotta take a chance. And I hope I like that sky. If not, squeeze some Floetrol laden blue in it. Forget to... Forget to shake it. Alright, I'm gonna... 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this um, pearlescent sargents in there and down here and I don't know about anywhere else maybe a few places all right so this is all about the edge catcher we don't know what we're going to get we'll take what we get and we'll work with it tomorrow if nothing else I've put plastic all over my tile I'm not necessarily going to go all the way across I'm just going to keep sending paint spreading it out and if I notice as I go along what I've noticed which is I need some more to make it more cohesive like in flow more easily hey I've, I found a green I was missing much better cool we'll find out if it's cool or not actually I want something else up in there what do I want in there I want some of this in there yeah that just never hurt me at all I, that's that drives darker much much darker that's the neon multi-surface acrylic from folk art so I'll go the opposite way from the way I started I could probably make all of these go down with a Princeton excuse me with an oxo omelet turning spatula and make them flow at the same rate shall we try that because I'm not going to worry about my edges right yet and as long as things don't show through I should be fine I got to try it once right up and down still now there's more flow in some places than others so if I can get a nice enough puddle to run down that edge and then rock my canvas and then rock whoop, the edge catcher and go back again I didn't think about that I can't use the same edge catcher for this guy okay so fortunately I have a few of these around and that's a good thing huh we want to use the shortest amount of it possible and I'm glad I still have some space at the top and the bottom to hold on to well at least at the top over here hey at the very least I got some cool stripes out of this deal and I might keep my extra paint once I have it flowed over I don't think this is the day I'm gonna be able to put a tree on here or anything I'm gonna let that flow right back again because I can that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link under show more I think I'm gonna put this down for a minute and I'm gonna grab some of my I'm gonna take a few things out of the way and I am going to tell my husband and his guests that I am recording <laughs> and I've got some green right there and some more I can take off the other edge catcher right here and that works I can even spread it with a spatula if I want because this is not one of those things that I can tip down I don't think I can do a little bit of this and that I'm gonna have to clean that spatula off in order to use it again or maybe use a smaller one there's this is a moment when I could use my fingers to fill in that hole and this hole that noise in the background is them messing with the gate I have no idea what's going on maybe the uh, since it got installed a while ago maybe it's getting fixed it's a little flimsy so all of this is cool I'm not sure it's uh, conducive to me wanting to add a tree and I am going to run a skewer through a few of these places I probably could have put some uh, some black enamel in there I can just take the paint on my skewer and use it someplace else like so Ooh, that's a lot of paint I really could let some of that flow off I could also let it become part of the next section as in put a puddle of it right there I want to flow all the paint down <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do that it's worth the chance do I have a piece of no it's not really big enough I guess it's gonna do we got to find out we have to know about these things flow that down cover the bottom and send it all back up again everywhere and then I have 
more paint on my edge catcher that I can cover the little missing spots, and there aren't many of them. I just put that edge catcher in some paint I want to use. All right, so having plenty of surface area to put your extra edge catchers down on is good. That spatula's got to go in the bucket. I keep having a problem with it. All right, so I've got all this green, and I've got an edge catcher in my painting, as you've noticed, but it didn't hurt anything. It just added a little texture. I'm going to grab some of my mixed paint from the edge catcher from up above, and I'm going to change up that bottom just a little bit, give it some added some interest. Modify that edge a little bit. We have some cells happening. I'm not sure about my sky yet at all, but um, I left myself some room at the top. I've got more green paint than I imagined I was going to have by far, so I'm going to just keep trying to clean this off. I'm going to use a sponge this time. It's faster than that rag that wasn't as wet as it should have been. And I have a cloth to dry things off with. I may tip this sideways again. That's what it feels like it needs to me, especially on this side. And my, my little sheet is not cooperating. But I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission to turn that around and try and dump some paint off again. Actually, let's flow that all up. Let the sky go where it wants to go. Yes, I'll have some extra paint. Maybe I'll be scraping it off into something <laughs> and saving it for later, which is my M.O. I still want to do something with that sky. The turquoise is strange in that sky. All right, so I'm covered and I have interesting things going on. I kind of want to look at what is happening. That's my river. I'm thinking that's my river right there. doesn't explain what's what's above it. There we have some some banks on the river. I'm not sure what any of this is. It's surreal for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's go back and add some pink that I want and I wish I had added it before and that would be the magenta in that sky but it's risky. It's very risky. I want a little bit more orange, and that orange was not very orange. And I'm just gonna, I got three minutes left. Cool, I actually looked at the clock in time. To not be caught off guard, which is always a good thing in my opinion. Let's grab a somewhat clean skewer. It's almost time to look for new skewers. So I'm just gonna use my, my skewer to shuffle some of this color right up over the top edge and also once it's there if I have a skewer full I can just let a bead of paint roll right down over the edge so I'm not sure you can see any of that I don't mind sharing the colors I'm not overly thrilled about looking for oh I got paint dripping off my edge catcher right off my table Oh well, that'll stop in a minute. <laughs> so that's a cool sky. That's an intense sky. I was going to add some white, but I'm not going to. I am going to straighten out that little indiscretion. you got to kind of pay attention to what your skewer's doing, or you're going to have all kinds of interesting marks you don't necessarily know that you like. So I like all of that, but I want... What do I want? I want the dark purple because I like the way it looks right there. Now I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint, which is a really good thing right about now because it's heavy. And this is, this is the uh, most complicated layered scape I've ever done. And be careful not to drip. I'm tempted to torch now. 
I'm tempted to take whatever's on my skewer and bring it over the edge. Usually I would spatula a lot of these things into place, but I really want to uh, have full coverage, so I've decided to just tilt. Stage one tilt. Maybe it's just escape as it is. Maybe it'll never have a tree. <laughs> I think that's a good possibility at this point, and actually. But it doesn't really need much, except for me to check my edges. And uh, it's got a beach, it's got a sandbar, right? If I put blue in there, I could have a river, but I'm not sure that I want to mess with a good thing. Boy, that's hard to decide. Is my sky good enough? That's a question I cannot answer yet. I think I want something much brighter in there, and I'm really, really super nervous about making it neon, but I want it. I'm going to do it. I think if I use the skewer, to blend that, a cleanish skewer. I found a cleanish skewer. Well, sort of. <laughs> anyway, so just dip it in sideways and then roll it. And just barely. Well, there's some great patterns in there and some super textures, so I'm just going to accept my fate right now and figure what usually happens is I'm not sure at the time and then I become fond of something afterwards. So I should tell you guys I sell my artwork and uh, if you're looking for the email address to contact me in that regard, it's right under the video. Same thing for uh, classes at the house in Spring Hill. Yeah, I like that right there. And it gave me some more paint in a spot I didn't even know I needed it. It's a wild sky, but that's okay. We like wild skies. Well, some of us do anyway. And it does sort of look like it's something. And I ought, I ought to torch. My edge catcher is incredibly beautiful. I don't know if I can show you that without endangering something. Let's try that. Here's my edge catcher. I'm going to take that paint off in a moment, for sure, for sure. I have my, at least my turntable is canted such a way that uh, it's not a problem. I want to check and make sure that uh, everything is where I want it to be right now, because once I torch, that should be a done deal. And I think what I want is some purple in there, and some more purple in there. And I think really what I'm missing in my sky is the purple that's my favorite. And I would want to add it tomorrow if I didn't add it today. So that makes me happy right there. That was what I was waiting for. I didn't realize it even. So what else sh should I tell you? I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. And you can find tomorrow's video there. Often. And... Uh, Expression Start Studio Gallery fans and collectors is for those of you who are interested to see which photographs I have edited from the YouTube videos and what's for sale or what's been priced. Everything's for sale. But you can contact me. Yeah, the purple's what I wanted. The purple's magnificent. I think I want a little bit more of that. I got one more minute to talk to you guys and then I'm going to be gone. And I should tell you what, check my channel for the playlists. There are 1,200 videos. There's 10 playlists of 100. There's a playlist being populated. There's 11, excuse me, there's 13 lists of genres. Yeah, I'm never going to complain about that purple ever, ever again. I just flicked some of it somewhere though. I'm not sure where. So even though that's going to be dark, it's still going to be pretty. We'll see what I do with this tomorrow. It's basically stripes. I'm going to have to torch. Please share my videos. Please watch the videos longer. It's the only thing the YouTube algorithm responds to as far as uh, helping my placement on YouTube. I appreciate you guys making a donation of $10 or more who want to get in the monthly drawing. There are 15 paintings in that drawing, and if you win, you get to choose three, and I send them to you. When, and I'll send you an example of everything that's... I'll, I'll, I'll show you what's available in an email if, if you make a donation. Um, I love you guys. 
I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.